An important new addition to the modeling tool set has been symmetrized polygons. As you can see, we're working on a particular plane, in this case the x-axis, y-axis, z-axis. I can change the offsets in each of these axes, or I can work also on a custom plane. And then I can manipulate all of this interactively. I'm going to switch back to the x-axis here. Probably the most important thing is the preservation of discontinuous UVs. All the new modeling tools, the collapsing and welding, now carry this propagation. If I want to go back into my construction history and just get rid of my symmetrize to show this will work also on entire objects. Just going to go inside here and just grab this little dude. I'm actually going to do a little bit of modeling. Let's just say uh, an extrude, put some subdivisions on there, and maybe a little bit of rotation. I'm actually also going to just subdivide my model. Doing symmetrized polygons on an entire object, it will act as though it's a complete polygon selection. Again, we can play around with all of our offsets. We also have the weld options here, in which case I can use for a distance control, and now they will weld together. I could also, instead of that, I could actually do a bridge function. Notice all the time the UVs have remained intact. One final addition, because I've already done my extrude op, if I were to go back to my extrude op and start to manipulate it with the symmetry as all propagated through, so it'll work on both sides. So a single mesh, single UV domain, multiple options and manipulations for symmetrized polygons.